it's Julie. The last couple of weeks have been a little tough for me and I'm going to share with you some things that keep me going. The first thing, now that it's autumn, is a lovely bright sweater like this one. This jumper just makes me smile every time I look at it. It's such a bright yellow lovely colour. Other things that keep me going are nice smells, in particular perfumes from Lush. My favourites at the moment are Violet Curbside and Death and Decay. This scent reminds me of summer and feeling safe, while this scent makes me feel like I can handle the world and anything it might throw at me. Music also keeps me going. I recently discovered the band Ratatat and the band Broke for Free. Both of those bands make music that's amazing to concentrate to and work to. When I come home in the afternoon and just need to relax, I've begun listening to lo-fi hip-hop. The genre of lo-fi hip-hop is kind of a slow, chill, beat-driven music, and it really helps me just relax and not stress or think about things. Some pampering also keeps me going. I pamper myself with long showers where I use this whoosh shower jelly that just makes every day happier because who doesn't love jelly and just playing with it in the shower? I also use this scrubby body butter from Lush and it smells like honey which is a very sort of calming scent and I like just having that on my skin. If I'm stressed out this is a tiny bit of pampering that I can do on the go it's an eye cream from Lush. It's called Enchanted Eye Cream and it's a very calming and soothing uh, thing and it's also slightly cooling so it really helps me when I'm stressed and everything is like overheating. <laughs> the reason I'm showing lots of products from Lush is that I really like them. I especially like the scents and the essential oils they use in their products because I like nice smells. This is the last Lush product I'm going to mention in this video. It's the Wiki Massage Bar. I use it on the back of my neck and my shoulder area in the evenings to sort of help me massage myself a little, even though it's really ineffective. But it just helps me relax and end the day in a nice way. It has quite a strong smell. It smells of cinnamon and mint. Uh, so it has sort of a Christmassy vibe and I like it. Another thing that keeps me going is laughing. Laughing with friends, laughing at a party, just laughing. <laughs> and also, of course, my friends. My internet friends from the Arundelnaut community and my real life friend who listens to my complaints and laughs with me when something's funny. I have also recently bought this agate egg and it's quite calming and relaxing to hold. I feel like I can put my irritation and aggression into it or uh, my stress and I can just sort of enjoy the smoothness of it and look at how pretty it is. Things to listen to other than music also keep me going, like podcasts and audiobooks. I recently started using Audible, so if any of you have a tip for a good audiobook, and the first book I tried listening to was Armada by Ernest Cline. I didn't like it. Um, I found it a little boring and I didn't like the narrator really. I was a bit sad that this was the case, uh, but this means I'm on the lookout for a new good audiobook. Preferably read by a British narrator? That would be great. The podcasts I'm enjoying at the moment include Dear Hank and John, HFS, or Holy Effing Science, Overdue, Gastropod, and Oh No, Ross and Carrie. These podcasts all deal with different things. I find Dear Hank and John to be the funniest. Oh No, Ross and Carrie deals with fringe science and claims of the paranormal. Overdue is a podcast about books that have been on people's radar for a long time. Gastropod is a show about food seen through the lens of science and history. And HFS is a fun science show where people try to wow each other with science facts. Physical activities like swimming, taking a walk or dancing also keep me going. They really help me sort of use my physical energy even when I've used up all my mental energy. I actually find swimming quite meditative with all the focus on the breathing and moving my whole body and I really like it when I can find the time and actually do it. I'm actually having a little bit of trouble with reading at the moment. I'm 
in the middle of four different books and and I can't really decide which one to go for. But I think what would be best for me is to read something slow and chill, such as this book that I recently started, The Nakano Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami. It feels like it's going to be quite a relaxing read and that's what I need right now. I just also want to read the whole of my TBR and all the books in the world. Ugh, it's driving me a little crazy. The other three books I'm in the middle of are Very Good Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse, Swing Time by Zadie Smith, and I still don't know what to do with Wicked by Gregory Maguire. The most important thing to keep me going is to get enough sleep, and not surprisingly, there's an app for that. I've been using the app Sleep Town that builds a virtual house while you sleep. It gives you a reminder to go to bed and it prevents you from using your smartphone while you're in bed trying to sleep. The way it does this is that if you go out of the app uh, while you're supposed to be sleeping, the house you're building becomes a ruin. And for me, that's motivation enough to leave my smartphone on my bedside table and just sleep. The app also wakes you up in the morning so that I get to work on time. So those are some of the things that keep me going in my everyday life when some stress might come in or it all might just feel like too much. Let me know down below what kind of hacks you've found to survive those kinds of times and I'll see you next time. Hada!